Everyone, I'm Nate from the RC Sailors, and I'm getting ready to take the Dromeda Ominous FPV out for its very first flight, for my first flight with it. And there are a few important things you need to do on your first flight, too. I definitely want to install the four AA's that are included with your package deal in the transmitter. Don't want to forget that. Also become very familiar with your transmitter, especially if you're not used to flying quadcopters. If this is one of your first few quadcopters, familiarize yourself with the button layout, the controls, the trims, the feel of the transmitter. That's very important. Quadcopter itself, really, you just need to charge your battery for it. I haven't timed my first charge. I don't know how long that took. It was probably a half hour or something. So give your battery a full charge. Make sure the camera is plugged in securely. Make sure everything else looks secure on the quad, the blades and everything. Very important step here is to make sure that you are happy with the angle or pitch of the camera and peel off the little protective layer on that lens so you get a nice clear shot with your camera. One final step with your camera is to install the memory card too. You definitely don't want to go fly your first flight and be extremely excited and try to record the thing and not have your memory card in there uh, recording that. So make sure you install that memory card. Well, it's very bright out today, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually use this, which will be the first time I've had to use uh, one of these on a quadcopter. I'm also bringing sunglasses and a hat because it's bright out. A uh, common first mistake when you're flying quadcopters for the first time is uh, to go out and it's really, really bright and you can't really see anything and uh, you know you're looking at the ground and you're fine but then when you look up you're just it's blind uh, so some good sunglasses and a nice hat to block out the sun really goes a long way last but not least you definitely want to make sure you go ahead and download the app it's a free fpv app it's called fpv cam and uh, it's for iphone and on the google store it's free and while it downloaded onto the phone i this is abby's phone by the way I went ahead and installed the goofy looking contraption here to the transmitter, but it does attach to your antenna. There's a little notch on one side that lines up with a little tab on the bottom of the antenna. And it should look like this when you're, when you're completely set up. It just looks so weird, but it's kind of neat because this is the more natural position to hold here and it puts the phone way up closer to your face. So I like that. I hope it works well. You want it to be extended as far away from, from the transmitter as possible because the two wireless signals from your transmitter and phone can interfere with each other. So at least seven inches away. And that's what this arm does, it extends that. So I'll put this guy in like this and spring load it down some. And now I wouldn't, I would never go out and like shake this around a bunch because it it's not a, an extremely tight fit. See, I can just, push it and it slides right out but oh boy. but it's still in there and I think let's just do this here you know we can hold it on its side and it stays on either way but if I were to shake it a bunch it probably wouldn't so, so I could leave the otter box on there yeah you could yeah but for this we'll uh, we'll go without it I guess <laughs> let's see what it looks like with this on and then we'll go fly don't drop it Yeah, nice. Kind of goofy, but it should work. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's do let's do a first flight. 